Pastor Nick, are you coming? We have to film. Let's go. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm so ready to film the five Ds. It's going to be awesome this week. What's uh, what's our D for this week? Today we're doing dunk. Yeah, I love get dunked. It's like get dunked. Not that kind of dunked. Get dunked. Not that kind of dunked. Get dunked. Understand, Natalie, I've done every kind of dunk I can think of. What are you talking about? Dunked means baptism. Oh, that's my favorite kind of dunk. Okay, 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 I'm ready now. Let's go, let's go to the studio and we'll record. Okay, Come on, let's, let's go. All right, guys, here we are, and we're right in the middle of our series on the five Ds. Woohoo! It's gonna be awesome. All right, Pastor Nick, what are the five Ds? The five Ds are how we grow in our relationship with Jesus. And we learned them last week. You guys want to practice it again with us? Here we go. Come on, let's do it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. You ready? You guys want to do it with us? Stand up. We're going to do it together. Here we go. They are decision, decision dunked, dunked, delivered, discipled, and deployed. OK, let's try it one more time. Here we go. Decision, decision dunked. Delivered, discipled, and deployed. Okay, now let's see how fast you can do it. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Decision done. Delivered, discipled, deployed. All right, guys, it's gonna be so fun. What is our D for this week? Our D for this week is dunked. Wow, I love dunked. That's so awesome. Do you guys know what dunked is? Any guesses? What do you guys think? What do you think dunked is? Hmm. No, why don't you tell us? Man? Was it all the things that Pastor Nick did earlier today? No, those aren't dunked. Dunk means baptism. So we get baptized because Jesus told us to, Jesus did it, and when we get baptized, we are telling everyone else that we follow Jesus. Oh, that is so awesome. And you know what? I think we actually have a Bible story yes. about getting baptized. And it's going to be awesome. Why don't you guys check it out? Stories of the Bible. Philip and the Ethiopian. This is Philip. Hello. Who was one of Jesus' disciples. Yep. Philip preached the good news of Jesus in many places. One day, an angel of the Lord spoke to him and said, Go south down the desert road. I hear that. So Philip started out and he met the treasurer of Ethiopia. The man had gone to Jerusalem to worship and he was now returning to Ethiopia. He was in his carriage reading the book of Isaiah out loud. Hey there. The Holy Spirit said to Philip, go over and walk along beside the carriage. Okay, I can do that. Philip ran over and heard the man reading and asked, do you understand what you are reading? The man replied, how can I, unless someone teaches me? Come on up here. And he urged Philip to come up into the carriage and sit with him. Those part here. The Ethiopian asked Philip, tell me, was Isaiah talking about himself or someone else? So beginning with this scripture in Isaiah, Philip told the Ethiopian the good news about Jesus. As they rode along, they came to some water. Wait, 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 hold on. And the Ethiopian said, look, there's some water. Why can't I be baptized? He ordered the carriage to stop. Stop. And they went down into the water and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away and took him to another town. The Ethiopian never saw Philip again, but went on his way rejoicing. Explain it. Wow, what an awesome Bible story. Such a cool thing to talk about getting dunked. So can we just talk about this for a second? What is getting baptized again? That's great. Well, the Bible says that Jesus told us to get baptized 
and Jesus himself was baptized. Wow. Okay, so what actually happens when you get baptized, right? So you get dunked under the water, and this is a way that we get to show the whole world that we have decided to follow Jesus. Wow, that's awesome. Yes, it is a picture of what Jesus did for us on the cross. So we get to show that we were buried with him in baptism and raised to live a new life. Woo! Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. Okay. It baptism, sounds so awesome. Oh, baptism is so great. Okay. So what's exactly the difference between getting making a decision to follow Jesus and getting dumped? You know, that's a great question. So here's the thing. When we make a decision to follow Jesus, we're saved. Jesus washes our sin and deals with that and he saves us and we get to be in, in heaven forever with him as soon as you make a decision to follow Jesus and you say yes to him and pray that prayer. But getting dunked is the next step. It's what we do after we've made a decision. It's kind of like this, you know this wedding ring? This is my wedding ring. I got married to my wife, Jordan, and she's awesome. And we have a relationship and when we made a decision to get married, now we're married. But I wear this wedding ring as a public way of saying that oh. I am married to Jordan. It's like celebrating, saying, Jordan is my wife and I'm with her. And it's just like that with baptism. We get to say to all of our friends and family and everyone around us to say, I am with Jesus and he is my savior and I have a relationship with him. And that's what getting dunked is all about. Woo! Okay, I have one more question. So, how do I know if I'm ready to get baptized? Ooh, that's a good question. Well, let's think about the Bible story. The Ethiopian made a decision to follow Jesus, and then right away he said, look, here's some water. What's to stop me from getting baptized? What the Bible says over and over again is if, if you've been saved, if you've made a decision to follow Jesus, if you've trusted him as your savior and asked him into your heart, you're ready. You're ready to get dunked. It's amazing. If you love Jesus and he's with you, you're ready to be baptized. And you know what? That actually leads to our next thing. You know what it's called? Let's do it. So here's the question. Have you made a decision to follow Jesus? Have you asked him into your heart? If you have, you're ready to get dunked. All right, and so today you can talk with your parents if you want to get dunked, or you can talk with a leader at your church to find out when the next church baptism is. So if you want to get dunked, talk to someone today. Woo, it's so exciting. All right, guys, that's all we've got for today. Why don't you tune in next week when we talk about Delivered? See you later, guys.